Welcome to today's session. In today's session, I'm going to talk about the nursing care plan for septic abortion. Uh, so be sure to go through uh, the YouTube channel for the nursing management or the management of septic abortion. But for today, we are looking at the nursing care plan. So among us, the problems that we can identify in, in septic abortion, the first one is raised body temperature as the nursing problem. In terms of the nursing diagnosis, you can say raised body temperature uh, related to invasion of the bacteria in the bloodstream evidenced by a temperature of 38 degrees Celsius. Uh, remember, the diagnosis is supposed to be related to something with an evidence. Then in terms of our objective or goal, we can say the patient will have normal body temperature within one hour or two hours of hospitalization or reduce the temperature to uh, reduce the temperature within one hour of full hospitalization then in terms of the interventions that we can put there you can do tepid sponging uh, this will help reduce the temperature by evaporation we can encourage the patient to take uh, oral fluids to promote heat loss we can open nearby windows this promotes uh, air circulation and heat loss. We can also administer antipyretic drugs like paracetamol uh, to reduce the temperature. Also, benzyl penicillin to clear out the infection, which is causing the rise in body temperature. Then in terms of the evaluation, remember also the evaluation should have an evidence. And you're evaluating your objective. So the evaluation, we can say the patient had normal body temperature within one hour of hospitalization evidenced by the temperature of 37 degrees celsius the other problem that we can see in septic abortion is abdominal pain and in terms of the diagnosis we can say abdominal pain related to um, presence of retained product of conception but in this case the relation can also be related to inflamed uterine wall and evidenced by a patient's verbalization of abdominal pain. In terms of the go obje objective, you can say uh, patient's pain will reduce within two hours of hospitalization. Uh, so that can be our, our go objective. And if you are using the objective, you can say to reduce pain within two hours of hospitalization. In terms of Interventions or rationale, you can administer analgesics, of course. Uh, uh, analgesics, pethidine 50 to 100 mi milligrams IM to block pain sensation. Even also paracetamol 1000 milligrams to reduce pain. Apart from that, you can use diversion or therapy uh, to divert the patient's mind away from concentrating on pain. You can talk about uh, placing the patient in a comfortable position which is not causing or which helps reduce pain. Also, of course, doing MVA to remove all retained product of conception so that you promote healing and this will reduce pain. Apart from that, in terms of the evaluation, you can say patient's pain reduced within two hours of hospitalization, uh, evidenced by patient's verbalization of absence of full pain. The third problem that we can see is activity intolerance. With activity intolerance, of course, this is related to fatigue evidenced by patients' exhaustion with minimal activities. Our goal or objective, we can say patient will have improved activity tolerance within two days of hospitalization or even just throughout hospitalization. In terms of interventions, the first one you can say I'll put the patient on total bed rest to reduce oxygen demand, thereby conserving or preserving energy. Apart from that, you can talk about uh, uh, performing related procedures uh, in blocks uh, to promote rest. Hence, this will help conserve energy. The other point you can say I'll, I'll promote or maintain a quiet environment to promote rest. Uh, you can also... Uh, perform uh, abdominal compressions to reduce abdominal pain 
or even just giving painkillers to reduce abdominal pain as this will promote rest. In terms of evaluation, so on evaluation you can say uh, patient's activity tolerance improved within two days of hospitalization evidenced by patient able to perform activities of uh, daily living without exhaustion. Then in terms of the nursing, other nursing problem that we can see is fluid volume deficit. So with fluid volume deficit, this in terms of the nursing diagnosis, this is related to excessive loss of blood evidenced by sunken eyes and poor skin tagger as well. In terms of our objective or goal, you say patient will have uh, replaced will be replaced with the fluids within 24 hours of hospitalization or you can say to re, in terms of objective you are using objectives you can say to replace the uh, fluid volume to normal levels within 24 hours of uh, hospitalization in terms of go or object i mean interventions you can say i will encourage the patient to take oral fluids to replace loss uh, lost fluids in blood uh, in blood the other point you can say i'll administer iv fluids such as normal saline as a blood expander you can also give ringers lactate um, five mils per kg body weight to replace electrolytes you can also give dextrose 10 percent for energy and also replace fluids you can also just give copious fluids as well in terms of evaluation, you can say patients fluid uh, fluid uh, replaced within 24 hours of hospitalization, evidenced by absence of sunken eyes. Or in other words, someone may also say patients fluid volume uh, improved within 24 hours of hospitalization, evidenced by of course absence of the same uh, lack of sunken eyes. The fifth problem that we can talk about is risk of nosocomial infection. And risk of nosocomial infection is related to prolonged hospitalization. And our goal or objective, we can say a patient will be prevented from nosocomial infections throughout hospitalization. In terms of uh, interventions, you can say I wash hands before and after touching or attending to the patient to prevent infection. You can say I'll perform damp dusting within the room to prevent infections. You can say I'll use sterile instruments or equipments on the patient to prevent infection. You can also talk about decontaminating the instruments after using on the patient to prevent reinfection. And in terms of our evaluation, remember even if the problem is a risk problem, on evaluation, it should always have any evidence. So on this one, you can say risk uh, patients, uh, patients nosocomial infections prevented throughout hospitalization, evidenced by normal temperature of 36.5 degrees Celsius. So that is how you can write the nursing care plan of uh, septic abortion. Other problems that you can also write, you can talk about risk for imbalanced nutrition less than the body requirement related to anorexia and loss of up or loss of appetite you can talk about anxiety as well related to lack of knowledge of the disease process evidenced by patient asking too many questions you can talk about knowledge deficit related to patients misinterpretation of the condition evidenced by patient being anxious and please take note of this statement here you can only choose one between these two problems so till next time goodbye and be sure to also go through other nursing care plan on this particular channel so goodbye